Morning guys, here we are, day one, Bass Pro Tour, Lake Harris Chain here in Leesburg, Florida. Uh, they're probably about to do a prayer and an anthem. Real quick, real excited, I got my boat official Mike. I got a cameraman today, Chad. Uh, so, you know, we're making a good long run. So hopefully we catch some fish. We get to try this score tracker thing out. Don't drop too many in the carpet or flip too many over the gunnel. Uh, but super excited about today. Uh, see what Lord's got in store for us. So let's go do it. Looking forward to it. Top four. And it's like event, it's an event behind. So this was from Smith Lake. So it's kind of an event behind, but yeah, I'm excited. I can't lose. No point, yeah, I got me. Ranger, Kostak, Empire, Fence. Let's make some noise for the man from Oklahoma, Kyle Cordiana. Good day, Kyle. Thanks, sir. In boat number 31. update yeah so we're not really fishing very much fresh water here we're out here waiting to get in the lock here uh, gonna go on to Griffin and uh, I got a bunch of yahoos running around here catching fish telling stories it's pretty good times uh, Creek caught one did measure and uh, Brent caught him a mud fish there but uh, other than that we're just waiting to go fishing uh, everybody's catching fish on the score tracker but us and uh, you know, it's kind of already get that feeling like, man, I'm already behind the eight ball, you know, but uh, hopefully we catch up when we get over there to Lake Griffin. But so far, we're just waiting. I'll give you the whole rundown. Brenton Chapman's in first place, 15 pounds, zero ounces. Boyd Duckett's in second, 11 pounds and one ounce. You got an hour and a half left in the first period. <laughs> There he is. I think I lost him. I feel like he come off. No, I got him. Oh, what's he'll keep? Oh, we got him. What'd he do? He went right down to that grass. Come here. He'll be close. He'll be close. Real close. All right, how's this thing working? My first time to do this trick. One pound, seven ounces, non-scoreable. All right, so we, we can weigh him again, right? 
one zero. pound seven. Go. Zero, start over. Go figure. We need a one eight. Come on, buddy. Get heavy. One pound seven ounces, non scoreable. <laughs> Got it, dog. It didn't even flicker, did it? You could weigh them up to three pounds. All right, we'll do it one more time. Whatever their last weight is, it's going to be. <laughs> One pound, seven ounces, non score One of them scales are the same every time. Almost. Man, I thought that one was going to touch. Going to make it. He was just chunky enough. He wasn't too scrawny. I thought he'd go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was a hard bite, man. Just knocked that silly. There he is. Oh, he got me down in there. Got all grass and a little bass. <laughs> non scoreable. The one I had hooked right before that was, was really heavy. Thought he was eating something, but he wasn't. Update. Yeah, so we're out here at Lake Griffin and uh, we've had four bites, we've caught two fish, one, one pound seven ouncer wouldn't go, tried the whole way in three times thing, that didn't work for me either, and then caught a little one uh, on a rattle trap, it really didn't go. Uh, not sure what's going on, I had uh, I just made a quick pass through this grass in practice and caught a couple of really good ones in here, four pounders, and so I thought it'd be kind of loaded up, and the wind ain't too mean yet, so I thought it Now's the time to catch them, and uh, it's not firing for me. Seen a few good ones blow up, but uh, I ain't figured out the bait they want or got it right in front of them. So we got several patches of grass I'm going to fish today, and then at some point we're going to get shallow and throw a swim jig and some lily pads and uh, get some big bites that way too in practice. So that's my update. So far we're one of the few. I think 23 people have a fish. We don't have one yet, uh, but we will get some for sure. Just gonna keep our head down and keep fishing. Uh, but it's cool, this score tracker thing. Here, everybody bust them. <laughs> that is cool and nerve wracking. I ain't gonna make you do it. Well, I mean, ain't nobody fished any of this grass. Well, we fished today so far. They thought we'd get bit if that was the case. Maybe. He looks an ounce bigger than the last one, but my last one. Is it ready? Yep. One pound, eight ounces. Yeah! I got a score one. I said he looked an ounce bigger and he was an ounce bigger. There's our first fish. That's our first one for the Bass Pro Tour, and I'm proud of him. Pound, eight ounces. <laughs> You want to get him to the cameraman there or you want to wait to break? You got I don't care. You can get him now if you want. Okay. Hey, Kyle? Yeah. You want me to run up there and unhook it? Or? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, not yet.
there he is. <gasps> oh no! Dang it, man, that one was heavy. I'm not used to sitting down in the middle of the tournament. So here we are in our first break, uh, end of period one. We got to fish about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes or so. Uh, caught a few fish, only one made the score uh, minimum of a pound eight ounces. And uh, my official mic here gave it to me. I am tied for 28th place with Brandon Coulter and Jonathan Van Dam, who also have uh, one fish. But I'm only two pound, two ounces behind the elimination line. So I mean, I'm only one keeper away from being at the elimination kind of line at the moment. Anyway, so now we're sitting here for 15 minutes. We're power pulled down in a big old pile of hydrilla, and we're gonna actually get to drink some water and, and chat with Mike a little bit, but looks like Brett Height's leading it with 11 fish for 27 pounds, 13 ounces. Man, we just need a couple of those fish like we got in practice uh, in this period, and we're sitting right where we wanna be. We did have one right there just a minute ago that felt good, hit hard. Felt like one of them bigger, bigger ones, uh, but he come off pretty quick, so we didn't get to see him. Anyway, so, I don't know, it's my first BPT period. Uh, I don't know, I would say all in all, not a complete failure, because I caught one, but not real happy about it. Uh, but nevertheless, we're not out of it by any means. Uh, we can get into a lot of them just like these guys are doing. So, on to period two. Five, four, three, two. Fish? Sure. I like it so far. There's one big and big and big and get out of there. We're gonna go after him. Hope he's still on there. Oh, he's out. No, 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 don't do that. How about that? Thought he's bigger than that, though. But that'll score. First cast. That's a heavy two. Two pounds, seven ounces. Two seven. All right. Two and a half pounder. First cast, period two. Got my tail, got everything. There he is. Ooh, he looked little to me. We'll check him, just for the heck of it, but I'm pretty sure he's like a pound nothing. One pound, one ounce. Yeah. And check him too. Ain't gonna make it either. Pound three ounces. One pound two ounces. One ounce at a time. That means I gotta catch six more to get a keeper. <laughs> Get 
So if he comes off while I'm doing this, that doesn't count as a penalty, does it? No matter what happens, huh? Okay. Big and really big one. No, it ain't that big. I'm gonna bring him in here. Hopefully, he don't fall off. Yeah, don't pee yet. I'll wait. That one. Did you see how hard that one was screaming when I hit him? I thought that was gonna be a big one. One pound, twelve ounces. One pound, twelve ounces. Keeper. Man, that looked like a two pounder, don't it? Post-spawn fish will trick you all day long. There he is. I don't think he'll keep. I don't think he'll keep. Slight tail touch here. Won't be a penalty. Thank you. I don't think that's going to go. It's another pound, four ounce or. One pound, five ounces. No, it's terrible. Darn it. There he is. Oh my God, big mud fish. I thought he was fighting funny. Wow, the hook's like somewhere different. So I kept one of these one time and ate it. And surprisingly, it was pretty good. But uh, one thing I learned about them, if you have them in your live well, uh, and you go in to grab them, I need my, they look up at you and they try to bite my hand. I reached in there to grab him and he come up and tried to eat my hand. All right, so that wasn't very good. Started out okay. Not end well. Get 15 minutes to think about what we did. All right, we're about to kick off period three. We got two and a half hours left. We're sitting four pounds, 13 ounces out of the top 20 cut. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna fish here just a little bit longer and then we're gonna make a run and go fish for them swim jig fish. and. Uh, Try to put a few more in the boat. Just, just got to put one here and there. That's all we got to do. 13 seconds. We got Randall Tharp right over here, and he's doing well. 10, We're nine, not. So, eight, on period three. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines in. <laughs> That's one of them cost you some some minutes fish right there, ain't it? Especially when he's hooked on a treble hook under the belly like that. Don't do that to me. These hooks are don't do that to me, buddy. I can use the for you. I often wondered if that, I've never had that trick done to me, but on a mega bass where the treble hooks are the other way, or the bar the barbs the other way. You know they are the other way. That's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't think it'll work. 
Yeah, I don't, you know what I mean? Theoretically, it shouldn't work at all. Should be, you'd have to teach yourself how to do it backwards, I guess. Hook one, we'll find out. No. Let's, let's, let's not. Let's not do that. They want to know. I don't mind experiencing. There's a big one. There, I got him foul hook, but he feels really big. Oh, I think I got him hooked funny. Oh, I do. I got him hooked inside. Golly. <laughs> I was like, man, there's a big one. No. That's smaller than all the other ones. I'm just trying to do what you asked me, though. Don't jinx me and make me hook myself. Well, that's three casts in a row. I even got a suture with you. I can sew you back up if it gets really bad. Oh, really? My daughter's a labor and delivery nurse. Yeah. They're sticking them in their pocket to have to throw away. So I just gonna bring them home. Yeah. We always use it on a dog or something. Yeah, my people. My wife, well, this would be nice if these were keepers, but they're not. Man, there's too many good fish in here. So if he falls off while it's shaking, it don't matter, right? No, it don't matter. As long as you don't bring him inside. Intentionally throw him out wrongfully. Yeah, if you or... toss him up in the air right now, yeah. I'd, I'd give you a feeling. Cool, Lee. Uh -huh. Freaking scoreable. Chased it back in. There he is. Uh, nope. Been a long time since I weighed one, but I ain't. We ain't caught one yet worth weighing. That one feels better, unless he's foul hooked. Which I already got tricked once. Made a decent boil out there. But he feels foul hooked again. That one might keep. We're gonna swing it. That one woulda kept. That's part of not wanting to get a hook in my hand. God dog it, Kyle. That was horrible. For sure. That was probably that one I seen chase me back here. Another one. Feels a little too. Yep. Pretty. Florida strains are sure pretty. There's one. Hit the perch one. And he pulled off. Oh, you see. I said it. if one comes out here and gets it. He gonna be a big one. I ain't caught anything on that this whole trip. It wasn't solid. And that's what I... <laughs> that's what I get, huh? No! No! Oh my God, that was the bite, man. <laughs> That was the bite that just rips, just about rips it out of your hands. Nope. Oh my God, you see the one with him? <sighs> one with him was a good two pounder. Why didn't he get it?
I hook enough of them by tomorrow, all the little ones will be sore mound. Maybe the few that are keep. Golly, that's a big one. But that hit it like a big one. I Meaning it don't feel big. Nope. Uh, I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll weigh. I think he's just short. Yeah, he ain't gonna make it. We ain't weighed one in a long time though. You wanna weigh one? I got it untwisted enough. I know he ain't gonna score, but. One pound, six ounces. Try one more time. Why not? Right. You know these scales better than me. They probably don't change over, but. One pound, six ounces. You mean a quarter of an ounce? Yeah, right now. I'll say I hope they don't change a quarter of a pound. Oh, a quarter of an ounce. We used to, they used to have the quarters on the screen and they took it off. Oh yeah, so you can see. They would never change. I've never seen one change a half. I have seen them. Kind of depends on where you put the fish. Oh god. Okay. Now, unless I snag this one, I got a big one. But I've been snagging him a lot, so. Oh yeah, he's snagged. I couldn't tell how big he was, but he's not kind of snagged. He's like really snagged. God dog it. There's so many down there though, isn't there? Most time you weigh them twice, they'll lose weight. Water gets dripping off of them. Right. Just be sure and say, hey, I'm gonna weigh down. That's crazy to me that I can't dumb onto a bite out here. There's one. I got one too. Right. I had one. I had one. One. Couldn't have been a keeper, could he? Fifteen seconds. Really? Ten, nine, eight. We're gonna run out of time. Well, he's in the boat. I don't think he scored, but he's in the boat. No point spot locking, is it? <laughs> that sums up my day, guys. Uh, golly, I can't believe that ain't a pound out. Anyway, that's it. Last cast, last minute, one pound, six ounces. No scoreboard. We caught three scoreboards all day. So, not really excited about it. But we got one more day uh, to figure it out. On to day two.